My 31F husband, 30M, no longer wants kids and I'm devastated. I, 31F, have been married to my husband, John, 30M, for two years. We talked about having kids throughout our dating and engagement and always seemed to be on the same page that we wanted to start having kids once we'd been married about a year. While we were dating, John would say things to me like, you're going to be such a good mom, or, when we have kids, I want to do XYZ one day. We made so many choices in preparation for starting a family we chose a four-bedroom house last year. When we were ready to buy, when he had to get a new car he told everyone he chose that particular one because it had a larger backseat to put car seats in someday. I chose a job with a school schedule so one day I could be off work more. It always was a direction we were headed. A year ago, around the time we had initially said we wanted to start trying. I stopped taking birth control and starting taking prenatal vitamins, which I told him about. But we both decided we wanted to wait a few more months to feel more settled in the new house and for me to feel more settled in my newer job. That turned into a few more months. But he continued to tell his friends and family, soon, when they asked when we were having kids. Most of his close friends and his brother all have young children. And he is amazing with them. One day this past August when I brought up the baby conversation again. John said that we could start trying. He seemed nervous but also excited he was sharing gender reveal idea videos with me and we were talking about potential names. I was so full of joy. Fast forward one week John dropped a bomb on me that he no longer was ready to have kids. And he wasn't sure that he wanted kids at all anymore. He said I bullied him into it and that there wasn't a particular reason he didn't want to have kids. Except that he simply didn't want to. This was devastating for me to hear. It's been about five months since. And he sometimes will say that he does, someday, want kids and other times will say that he might not ever want them. I've become depressed and anxious about the ticking biological clock. I cry every day. I don't feel the same love for him that I did before and I've started to resent him. I've tried to talk to him to understand where he's coming from. Because to me it seems like he just got cold feet and he is anxious and fearful about it becoming a reality but he refuses to talk to me or anyone else if i'm upset he will not comfort me he generally acts like everything is completely fine even when i've told him how upset i am over this i've showed him fertility and age charts and the risks of pregnancy rising after 35 and literally begged him i've spoken to a marriage counselor and tried to resolve my brokenness on my own which did not help me. John refuses to go to marriage counseling or speak to anybody. I'm so hurt inside and I feel like he either lied to me about his intentions to have children to get me to marry him or that he is being completely unfair to not even acknowledge how this could make me so upset. I'm so fearful that if I continue in this marriage in 23 years that he will still be saying he doesn't want kids and it'll become too difficult for me to become pregnant and have the 23 children i always envisioned i'd have i'm not in a place financially that i can freeze my eggs or that ivf would ever realistically be an option i feel i'm being robbed of my desire to have children and yet at the same time i'm not able to just throw away our whole relationship because i feel like even if i started over today I'd never fall in love and marry another person in time to have a family. I feel stuck and don't know what else to do next. I don't know how to get into his brain to understand what's going on. He's a huge procrastinator and a huge avoider. So I know that's playing into this. Advice? This isn't the answer you want to hear but leave. This is a man who kept saying he wanted a kid obviously was having second thoughts but instead of talking to you about it kept moving the goalposts he did this for months and then he finally told you why he was moving the goalposts 
Except he can't even stick to his answer he keeps throwing in, someday, to keep you on the hook and inadvertently, possibly, torture you, that you could maybe be address. But he refuses to go to individual therapy as well as marriage counseling. So he won't do the work to truly figure out what he wants. He won't do the work on your marriage to have you guys discuss this with a neutral third party. You deserve a solid yes or no answer to having kids from him. The fact that he can't muster up enough to either work on figuring out the answer or just tell you. The answer he already knows tells you nothing but bad things about him. If you can't find it in you to leave go to individual counseling. Work through what's happening and decide what's best for you. Whether or not to have children is a fundamental incompatibility. Your only choice is divorce. As fast as possible, you can and will find someone else to love and have a family with. If children is something you truly want, file for divorce. And as soon as possible. Because don't waste your time. The resentment will build love does not conquer all. If he doesn't want kids and you do it's time to end it. You'll never forgive him in the long run. Hmm, it's almost like he wants you to divorce him thinking face. Ouch. Reminds me of my own life. Dot but I never ever ever wanted to have a baby. My now ex actually convinced me to. Such a good mom. It's such a waste. So good with kids. I would love a child to teach things to, etc, etc. I ended up changing my mind. And we started the process of trying for a baby. Then. He said, I don't think I want this. I've already had my kids. All grown by this stage. Quote. I was devastated. He did the bait and switch. We still had a child. As soon as I was pregnant. He became cold and cruel and the abuse wasn't hidden anymore. I left when my baby turned two. Be careful having a child. If you decide to continue with this man. He is playing with your emotions. Especially the, won't comfort me. It's not depression. It's emotional abuse. Take care of yourself. Also. I had my daughter at 41. Don't let time get in your way of happiness. Go and find a treasure for yourself. Everyone has given you great advice but you are only 31. I promise it isn't too late. Many of my friends, were all around 40, didn't meet people until their early 30s and now have, or don't have, children. One of my friends just had her second at 40. Do not convince yourself 31 is too old to, start over, because all you'll do is spend more time in. A relationship that can't give you what will make you happy and fulfilled and it's not worth it. The resentment would kill the marriage regardless. This is a fundamental disagreement issue. And an emotional issue. The first is obvious. And means you are incompatible. It is time to go. If only from that. I want you to pay attention to the second one. This is a man that spent years comfortably telling everyone. You included. That he wanted kids. He married you. Bought a car. Went looking for gender reveal videos all with the same goal. And then suddenly he has a change of heart. That. Sadly and as hard as it can be to understand. Is okay. It can happen. And it's horrible it did this far along. What you need to see is that he not only had a change of heart. He turned around and told you you bullied him into it. Kept bidding his time saying, not yet. Knowing what was happening. Knowing that time was running out for you and waiting for it to happen so you'd have no reason to. Leave when it did. Still keeps you stuck at, maybe. Refuses to comfort you. Refuses to talk about it. Refuses to seek help through counseling. This is not a man you want to stay with. This is not what a caring, mature partner does. Nor are these the actions of someone who wholly respects you. He knew what was up months ago. He was waiting for the clock to run out on its own. You were just faster than that and confronted him. He is secure in that. 
Even with all of this and his uncaring behavior and lack of empathy, you will remain in the marriage. Because that is what you have done by giving in to every postponement. And what you have done five months after he told you the first, no. He keeps you there by habit and, maybe, he knows exactly what he is doing, does not plan to do anything to work on it and he does not care. You do not accept a maybe when it comes to love and to marriage. That is not your place anymore. It is now your time to cut your losses. Understand sunk cost fallacy is at play here and get out to live life as you wanted. And were promised. To live. Love yourself. And your future children. And do not spend one minute more on someone who contentedly sits waiting for you to stop crying. Over having your entire life plan upturned by him. You can do this. Women do this every day. Everywhere. And thrive in spite of men who have wasted years of their lives and their hopes and dreams you too. Can do this. I'm sorry. I think you are both anxious about your futures. Your husband fears what your life will be with kids and you fear your life without them. If he's unwilling to go to therapy with you, there's not much else you can do except separate or compromise. If not having kids is a deal breaker for you, you'll end up resenting him if you stay together. You need to ask him if ever wanted kids. If he says no that he never did then he lied to you for relationship and into your marriage. If yes. Ask him what changed for him. You need to decide if having kids is a deal breaker. He doesn't just get to decide you don't get to have kids especially if it's something you have. Always wanted. Having or not having kids should be a two-person decision in a marriage. Sadly you will resent him if you stay. The longer you stay with him the further away you are of realizing your dream to become a mother. It is sad that he changed his mind but it's his right to do so. It doesn't mean you have to change your mind it just means you need to reimagine your future. Without him being the father of your children, that honor will go to someone else. There's a really good chance there's someone else. I know that probably doesn't seem possible, but I'm speaking from experience. Those goals, especially the ones that will tie you to him forever are no longer ones he want, because there's someone else and he wants to keep his options open. Even if there's not, this isn't okay. There's literally no way to overcome this. Divorce is your only option here, especially if he won't go to a counselor with you. I divorced at 31, remarried, and just had my first baby two weeks ago at 38. So there's hope for you red heart when I envisioned my future at 31. It didn't look like this. I wanted three kids. That's prob not going to happen. But I'm so happy with what I have even if it looks different. You'll be okay. Even if your future looks different than you envision now. But if you settle for your husband and no kids. I don't know how, okay, you'll be. ETA, get back on birth control. Do not, accidentally, get pregnant by this guy. I know someone that was in your exact position. She stayed with him until she was 42, at which point he woke up and decided he wanted kids and divorced her, moved out within the week and was dating within the month, had his first of three kids the following year. He wasted her entire opportunity and then went on to be the dad he wanted to be. My friend, please, go. Divorce and move on. If you have to do it on your own, that is possible. I got pregnant too easily 2x in my late 30s. He led you on. Don't stay. I'm so sorry, but you have to get out. You are really dodging a bullet here. I don't say this lightly. You are better off going it alone, using a sperm donor, than with someone who lets you set up your life around a plan you came up with together and then tries to gaslight you into believing you bullied him into it. God forbid you had gotten pregnant. Once you had the baby and things got real, he would blame your bullying him into parenthood for every stressful moment he had and the whole family would be miserable. 
sounds like he was always trying to convince himself he wanted kids. Don't force him or try to persuade him at this point. There is no compromise when it comes to children. You either want them or don't. I would not wait around since children are a must for you. As hard as it is. You need to move on. This is not okay. You need to start taking steps to end this marriage and allow yourself to find someone who wants to have a family with you. Divorce. He bait and switched you. If he's unwilling to work on it, time to go and move on with your plans to become a parent. There are thousands of good men out there who not only want to have children, they enthusiastically want them and will be an equal partner to you. They'll be present fathers, fair contributors, supportive partners. Even if your husband concedes out of a fear of losing you, do you really want to have a baby with someone who is even close to the fence? What happens when life with a newborn gets too difficult and he resentfully leaves? Or spends years blaming you for roping him into a life with children? You're still young. You have plenty of time to find someone else who can meet you where you're at. Think it's time for you to mourn the relationship and move on. You guys don't want the same things in life and you'll only end up resenting him if you choose to. Stay with him and you don't end up having the kids you've always dreamed about having. It's scary starting over but it's the best thing you can do for yourself. You are still young enough to find new love with someone who is on the same page as you. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.